Hi, my name is Eric. I'm a writer here at Crutch Field, and today we're going to talk about the Denon Seol RCD N10. It's an interesting combination of a receiver and a CD player that fills a niche in your sound system that not many other components can do. I'd like to point out that if you notice that the screen on the front of this unit is flickering while you watch the video, that's just a camera artifact. It doesn't look like that in real life. I kind of look at this unit as two things in one. If you wanted to use this in say a dorm room or in your extra room as just a self-contained sound system, you can do that because it has a receiver built in so you can listen to the radio, also has a CD player and it has an amplifier built in. So you could just connect a pair of speakers to this and just use it sort of as a dorm room system or a system just in a single room. However, it also has Denon's HEOS built into it, so if you have other speakers that use HEOS, you can expand wirelessly and play this throughout other rooms in your house. It does so much in a relatively compact and sleek form factor, which is nice so you don't have to find a lot of space to put this in. Uh, you may notice that there aren't a lot of buttons on the front. That's because most of them are on a touchpad on the top of the unit. So if you are using this as your main component in a small room, there are a few sources that you can use uh, wirelessly as well. Uh, you can use Wi-Fi that's built in, it also has Bluetooth, and it has Apple AirPlay 2. So that's a lot of convenient streaming options. So there are a couple of connections on the front you'll want to know about. There's a type A USB port, which you can use for any USB mass storage device that has music files stored on it. It's a great way to play back your files, uh, including high-res files. And you'll also see that there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the front. On the back, you'll find an ethernet port where you can connect directly to your home network. And there are also a couple of optical digital inputs. One of them is marked for your television. So if you want to go ahead and use this as a way to uh, improve your TV sound, it's a great option for that. There's also an analog RCA input and a mono RCA output for connecting a subwoofer because you always want more bass. And then as I mentioned, uh, you can connect your speakers to this and use that just to listen to it in the room. And then if you want to connect outward to a larger system, one thing you cannot do is you cannot use this as a preamp with an existing wired system. The only way you can play this into a larger system is to use the HEOS. I got a chance to take this component home and use it in my office, and I really like the way it looks as part of any room that you want to put it in. It has a glass top with touch controls that light up when you use them, and a nice OLED screen on the front that is dimmable, so you can change it to kind of suit the conditions in your room. I think my favorite thing about the Denon Seol RCD N10 is that it's very versatile. I have a lot of CDs and I still listen to the radio and I like that I can do some of those old school things but it's also packed with modern convenience features that I can use to stream music and expand into a whole home audio system if I want to. If you need a little help building your own sound system, Get in touch with us and talk to one of our friendly, knowledgeable advisors. And while you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.